Hey everyone, Matt Bolton here, and today we're going to talk about why dashboards are important for you and why you should use them in the product. So what you see here, for example, is a top 10 dashboard tab with gadgets with critical components of devices to showing me what devices might be having problems. So for example, this is a top 10 CPU gauge, and I can see that this device in Boca Raton tech support is running pretty warm on CPU. If I wanted to, I could just double click on this device go into the device details and troubleshoot right from my dashboard. So this gives me a cross device, cross site, if applicable, visibility into all problems that are occurring. These dashboard gadgets are very customizable. You can actually drag and drop them around to create different views. If I actually right click on a tab, I can configure columns. This is a two column dashboard. I can create three, four. If I have a 50 inch uh, a display in, in your NOC facility, you can actually get a lot more columns in a single dashboard. Another useful utility for uh, dashboards would be active alerts. I want to see a single place of all the alerts that have been triggered across any device within the network. And I can easily see that here. I can administer alerts. I just highlight over it. It tells me what has occurred. If I want to reset that alert, just highlight it, hit reset, and now the alert is automatically reset and can be triggered again if that event arises. So not only visibility, but also management right from my central dashboard. Another thing that you might want to look at would be some key events or critical devices. So this tab that I've set up is actually an HP ProCurve switch, which is our WAN link. So it's a really critical device that I want to make sure that anything that occurs on that, I can see at the dashboard level. So I've created some basic things around latency, CPU memory, the WAN interface link, and showing the utilization associated with it on a chart so I can start seeing spikes and drill into those if I need to. And then I also created one tab for top traffic analysis, where it's going to show me the conversations that are occurring through the S-flow of that device. But it gives me that detailed visibility, but at a global level on my dashboard, so I can instantly see problems. A couple other things that you can do is you can add multiple tabs that you want, as you can see here. You just simply add a tab and give it a friendly name. And then over here in Add Gadgets, there's a massive inventory of out-of-the-box gadgets that you can add to your dashboards and customize it as you see fit. So there's a lot of things that you can do with dashboards, but the most important thing is you get cross device visibility into problems instantly with, uh, on your dashboards. Thanks a lot and look out for some of our other helpful videos.